Please welcome solver Brenna Nan Schneider. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, in 2013, I founded 99 Degrees with a vision for a future model of apparel manufacturing, um, transitioning a manually skilled industry into one that's an advanced manufacturing industry by combining the best of human capital, problem solving, uh, critical thinking, quality oversight with the best of technology and automation and ultimately to create a highly efficient, globally competitive advanced manufacturing model that is also agile and flexible, built for speed, and ripe to support the future of retail. I chose Lawrence, Massachusetts, just 45 minutes north of here, and for those of you who aren't local, Lawrence is um, an old mill town where the US Industrial Revolution began. Um, I chose it for a strong workforce. It's, very, it's one of very few places in the US where we have access to a manually skilled apparel manufacturing workforce. Also for its infrastructure, beautiful mill buildings that can support manufacturing's return. Its proximity to Boston and the expertise and resources here. Um, as well as the sense that it's a place where people live. So building a business where my workforce lives and has lives. Um, it also has an unmistakable energy of being an immigrant city. Um, that kind of um, scrappy start small, but then keep working um, and start to pass naysayers. And I think that starting an apparel manufacturing company in the US in 2013 um, really embodies that energy. Um, but I think that what's putting cities like Lawrence back on the map are actually global shifts. Um, we. Uh, in, in apparel manufacturing especially, but manufacturing went to, to Asia. And China was at one time a one-stop shop and has since become globally fragmented with significant over, uh, oversight costs and inefficiencies and difficulties, and it's no longer necessary. Um, speed and innovation are really driving uh, the future of retail um, and consumer products. And so um, automation and technology is able to take out the cost of labor and make cities like Lawrence a viable and exciting place to build future manufacturing models. Um, so with technology comes the opportunity to create new models with new jobs, but also to bring back old models in a new way and create new jobs. And so when I think about my vision grounded in place in preparation for this plenary uh, session, I think about how um, I started the business in Lawrence, thinking about place and then bringing a vision for the future of apparel manufacturing to that place, bringing a, a manually skilled workforce who is energized and committed to, to that vision, and then infusing that with technology and allowing my workforce to do what they do best. And by doing that, we create an energized and engaged workforce that has the, the possibility of driving this model forward. Um, they also have the, the possibility of earning more. And so that's one of the reasons that I'm excited to be part of Solve. And so I think about this dance, place, and vision, and workforce, and technology coming together. And what that means is that cities like Lawrence become the fuel for future urban economies, but also the beneficiary of them. And so this is a future that I'm very excited about and to be building toward. Thank you. <laughs> 